Hey YouTube, Steve here again for the uh, second video of um, how many ounces are in your house. And um, this is the question, man, that uh, you have to deal with, and that's going to really help you build your stack. I like I like it because it's uh, equal to everyone. It applies to everyone. Nobody is exempt from this question. Everybody has junk in their house. Every, everybody has something they can sell, something that can um, create value for other people and you can receive money for and uh, use that money to, or use that, use that fiat currency to uh, fund your stack. So um, I got a few things written down here and I figured I'd give you five keys to uh, selling your junk on eBay. And uh, number one is you have to understand that uh, people will buy almost anything. You have to have the right mindset, the right attitude. And I think um, going into it, um, this the, the, the mindset that people won't buy what you have limits people from selling their stuff on eBay. And uh, this has happened to me many times. And and uh, you, you'll, I'll say stuff to myself like, why would somebody buy this? Or nobody needs this? Or this is junk? Or see, junk is a perception. Junk is an opinion. What is junk to you may be a, a highly sought after item to someone else, no matter what it is. You know, you, sometimes you can explain it. Sometimes you have no idea why somebody would buy what you're selling or, or what you have, the, the quote unquote junk you have, but they will. And sometimes they'll play handsomely for it, you know, if this is the right market and it's the right timing. So uh, I'll give an example. I'll make it tangible for you. In my last video, I told you that for a while, eBay was my, uh, my, my primary source of income. It was my sole income earner. I did not work. I did nothing else but sell on eBay. And this went on for about a year, year and a half. And I worked maybe five hours a week, literally. And I and I and I made a you know I made a, a good income I made a good income from eBay um, more than um, a little over thirty five thousand no actually it was about thirty two thousand for that year that I did uh, from eBay about five hours a week like I said and there's no exaggeration it was about five hours but my point is this my primary sales came from this. This little guy here. This is called a cam lock. This is a well, a cam lock and key. The, these go to uh, cabinets, and they also go to uh, gumball machines. Gumball, the, those little quarter gumball machine things that you see in stores and different places. These are what those are for. Now, these are my primary source of income in. Um, I mean, I never heard of these things before. I thought they, you know, why why would somebody buy this is what I would say. If you saw this sitting somewhere, you would walk straight past it. But, you know, this is money. You know, there. well, it was five years ago, so I, I don't know what the sales are for now. But, uh, I mean, these were selling like drugs almost. They would fly. You know, I, I had a couple thousand of these, and I just kept selling them and selling them. And some people would buy five. Some people would buy 10 at a time. You know, I had a couple people buy 100 from me at a time. You know, you just, you just, you just never know what people will buy. So, so anyway, that's enough for that point. But again, when you look around your house and you, and you look at the junk in there, the quote unquote junk in your house, think about this lock. You never know what people will buy. If you find a ready market, if you have ever at a good price, people will buy what you have. And that brings me to Number two, nobody cares how much you pay for it. Now, this is something nobody, uh, you know, we don't really like, and I don't like it myself either, And but it's true. The market doesn't care what you pay for it. The market decides how much something goes for it. Some, some, how much something is, yes, it's how much something goes for it, but how much they'll pay for it. The market determines that, not you. Not what you pay for it. Nobody cares how much you pay for it. Here's an example right here. Let's, let's say I pay 50 bucks for this panda 
and uh, and then I want to turn around and sell it. Now, if the going price is uh, twenty five dollars, you know the market determines that. Nobody's going to buy it for fifty. They'll buy it for twenty five dollars. So I mean, that's that's what's that's what's going. That's the going rate at that time. So keep that in mind. You know, you might have to take a loss on um, those old clothes you have or um, those old books you have. Well, you know, I guarantee you'll take a loss, but, you know, um, it doesn't have to be much. Sometimes it doesn't have to be much. So just keep that in mind. Try to, you know, of course, you want to try to minimize the losses you take, but don't let those minimal losses deter you from selling the junk you have. Again, it's junk. You're not using it. You know, it's, it's not useful to you. So get rid of it. Make some money from it. And that brings me to number three. Ship everything for free if you can. People love free. And uh, you can actually add the shipping cost into the price so you don't have to necessarily eat the shipping. But people love free. They'll pick your product and buy it over someone else's just because it had the free shipping label that eBay puts over top of your picture on your auction versus somebody else who doesn't have the the free uh, um, um, the free shipping strip across across their picture on eBay. So uh, list it for free if you can. Now I'll give you a warning here. Uh, if you're selling anything besides like media media stuff, media stuff is primary what I sell. I sell I'll sell anything, uh, you know. But but media is primary what I sell. I sell books, DVDs, cassette tapes. Uh, motivational uh, speakers tapes and things like that in um, in books you know lots of books and things like that all that's media and that stuff is is, is the the cheapest shipping no matter what the weight is because of course the postal service goes by weight but if you're selling anything besides media shipping can get very expensive very fast you know they go like I said they go by weight and the shipping is nuts you know, for the most part so you'll have to charge shipping on anything besides media. In my opinion, you should charge shipping on anything besides media. Um, or I guess you can add it in the shipping, the, the, the price of the item too. But, you know, like I said, it's pretty expensive. So just be careful. I've been burned a couple times on um, shipping costs. So so just be, be careful on that one. Number four is uh, uh, people ask me, in my personal life sometimes, what should I sell on eBay? Because people know I'm pretty good at doing it. And they say, what should I sell on eBay? And I sell, sell anything. Sell what you like. If you like books, sell books. If you like clothes, sell clothes. If you like shoes, sell shoes. You like hats, sell hats. Whatever you like, sell it on eBay. And the reason why I say this is because you usually have um, that love for that product which will, will transfer over to your prices, will transfer over to how much you care for the item will transfer over to what you, how you describe it in your listings, the pictures you take of it. And I mean, it might, it might sound dumb to you, but it does. You know what? Um, and also, you uh, you know the market. That's probably the most important thing about selling what you like. You know specifically what people will pay for in that market, what they're looking for in that market, and um, yeah, and that, that's the most important thing right there is, is, is the, the market knowledge that you have over someone else who doesn't like what they sell. They won't have the same market knowledge as you do. So number five, have great customer service. I mean, this, this should go without saying, but you need to have great customer service on eBay. Your feedback rating is your um, your 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 credibility, your your credibility is there your feedback so people are going to look at your feedback rating and, and see do you ship things fast are you slow um do you do they receive the items as described in the auction are you lying about things or you know uh, do you ever ship the products you know and, and then so on and so on so guard your feedback rating with all you have you know be nice to customers respond to their emails quickly and um Ship items fast. You know, I try to ship my items the next business day. I, I usually ship uh, everything the next business day. And sometimes I even send out emails telling them I shipped them. 
and um, notifying them on what day it's going to be to their home and, you know, which is on a receipt that you'll get from the post office and everything. So people like that stuff. So, um, and that's about it, man. If you stick to these five things, you should pretty much be okay. Um, of course, there is other things you can do too, but I guess these are pretty much the basics in my opinion. And, you know, if you guys have any questions or anything, just uh, PM me or put it down in the comment section below and then I'll answer you uh, or, you know, somebody else will answer you too. And, and um, I'll be glad to help. So with that, guys, I'm signing off. Thanks for listening to me ranting all this time. And I hope I didn't bore you and talk to you soon.